Hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Ahsoka review, and this one's on the New Republic E-Wing and versus Shin Hati's Starfighter, of course. So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO Star Wars logo and similar border to what we've seen for the last couple of years, or since last year, but with turquoise and Ahsoka signifying it's from the Ahsoka series. And then picture of the two uh, starfighters in action, and also the all the minifigs included. And recommended ages is nine and up. So that number seven five three six four has a thousand fifty six pieces. And onto the back side, we would have have them in different positions. Both starfighters in different positions, battle of going on with the figures, minifigs, and all the features of them, and, and the logos again, and there. And now on to the instruction manuals, which is on renderings like we've been seeing since last summer and also lately. Is from the first booklet for the E Wing, which have transition from plastic to paper bags, add for a uh, builder app on the back, add for rebuild the world, and then the last building steps for that. But on the back, how to win on the online survey. And the pieces that come in the set, or come with the set, of course. And then, and again, and then all the sets of this current wave, of course. And then add for some of the August 1st sets, or otherwise the other sets of summer 2023, of course. And then the last building steps. To the minifigs. First up, we would have uh, Captain Porter, or the main E Wing pilot here, which, as the torso print leg printing, looks very good, and of course, consisting of blue and white. Nice color scheme to behold, and of course, kind of similar to what we have. With most uh, uh, X Wing, Y Wing, and Snow Speeder pilot outfit kind of ones, but in blue instead of orange. Nice to see there. And the helmet piece of which, which kind of similar to most of those. Or I mean, just same helmet piece as all of those, but in dark blue with yellow printings around it. But kind of the same as that. Still wish they could have been as good as back in 2015 for Force Awakens, of course, but whatever. And of course, you can swap out with this little hair piece that we've been seeing since like Black Panther and Finn. And then, and of course, have the goggle part of which, also like in those previous sets, of course. Then have a New Republic astromech droid, which is kind of an interesting color scheme of blue and yellow. And however, the printing's all the same as R2D2's ones, but at least nice to see a new color scheme of astromech droid here. And next to it, we have uh, Organ Elsbeth. However, her, her torso printing does look quite good. Looks quite good for how it is. This, but the dress part, not at all any torso print, not at all any printing there. But however, her face printing kind of even, which has this little uh, thing, little thing on the forehead, of course. And here, I'll do specific hair piece to it. Not sure if it's brand new or reused or whatever. 
And next to it, you have Shin Hati, or Shin Haiti, of course. But however, which as you see, the hair piece of which, just like we had with uh, Queera in Solo and Molly Weasley in Harry Potter, of course, but recolored in uh, blonde here. Nice to see that. And of course, her torso print, like printing, uh, which quite great for that, especially with the uh, Jedi print there. Her ability face printing, quite good for how she is. But yeah. And then last of which is Bale and Skull, which from first glance has some bit of Count Dooku vibes, of course, but but since but of course all new and all but however is torso printing leg printing but it's really good for that but although those not sure if it's me but the like printing which does look kind of like ones that might have been used on previous Darth Maul minifigs but to uh, not sure about that well even though you can kind of use it there but uh, whatever but however is face printing quite suiting to him and quite workable for him. And of course they both wielding the red lightsabers, but although in the show they looked a little more orange to that. All the uh, they could have been done in orange as well. But yeah. And as for the back sides of all of them, that all of which do have neat double sided face those of course. And of Whereas Shinhati's and Balance Gold's back torso printing, kind of similar to each other, but of course in different colors, but yeah. So I guess that is about it with the mini figs. First of which is the uh, New Republic E-Wing Fighter. Well, as you can see from first glance, it does look kind of like a modded X-Wing fighter, but of course, but without the top X-Foils, that was of course. But However, this is our first canon E-Wing, which, you know, the one that we had, which was back in 2013, but for Yona Chronicles, but always oh, with Jack and all. That which wasn't canon, but this which first time canon. Well, which of oh, which great for that. Like from first part of which. Starting with the nose part of which this now is part built kind of like most X wings, but however it as in like pointing and in, pointed inwards but however instead of like a pointed tip with a large slope instead has two curved slopes so, well one of which a by one one with a sticker on it kind of interesting for that and as for this kind of area it does have where it's just plates stacked on plates and also a couple long slopes Oops, on here oh. and of course the only bit of snot being with this pizza slice piece and large plate on it. Yeah. And of course, a couple long plate. This one with a sticker on it, uh, which, of course, done with some jumpers or jumper plates in there. And then, as for the, uh, but also underneath is this little bit of landing gear, which, like the top front part of most X wings, but, or past X wings, but fold inwards the same way, but also but does have a longer, larger foot part of which, which is nice to see there, and of course add a bit of extra stability to that, or balancing to it. And as for the uh, campy cockpit area, which as he does have a couple of grill pieces acting as like venting, you know, and a pair of stud shooters, which you can launch off like so. And also uh, reload easily as well. 
and also this cockpit piece, which we have been seeing on X-Wings since 2015 with Episode 7, The Force Awakens, of course, but it can open up as easily as that, and and those having a little control panel, cheese slope there, and also a little uh, chair part, which if you like, get your finger on the back. Oh, whoops, without it breaking off. Huh? Uh, hang on. Which you can just slide off easily. Then underneath it is just a little compartment kind of area where you can take Mr. P or I mean Captain Porter's blaster into and put it in there and rest. Or I mean, hang on. But you can also take the seat and put cat Porter onto it as well. Uh, and then just slide it on it. So, oh, which and closes up on it. So that whole process, nice and genius thing, a good way to, to, for one, store a weapon into and make it a little easier to get the minifig into. Props to Lego for that. Then moving along for this back section, which has a large sticker on a uh, jagged slope there, and but luckily there's very few stickers in this set, of course, and another uh, jagged slope there, well along both ways. And then the center part has a little bit of greebling for that, with a gold bar piece and a grill piece there, and also a little hollow section with a couple jumpers in it to place your astromech droid mini pig into it. Well, and of course have to put it sideways like the Jedi Starfighter or uh, Zex, of course. Oh, and also, well, I think previous X-Wings maybe, but it was mostly the Jedi Starfighters and Interceptors that did that. Then as for the wings here, which, as you see, have a few corner plates and also next to night shields going on, on for that, but as extra greebling and extra detailing, of course, and also a few uh, two by six plates going on to there, but also one of which with a sticker on it. And, this, and the engine parts of which, which comprise of those larger uh, engine pieces, like we saw with the 2021 X Wing fighter, of course, and also this. Uh, little cannon that's made from candlestick pieces and also the uh, lightsaber hilt pieces, but from Monkey Kid, of course. And the back side is just a little bit of greebling going on, and also for the back engine parts of the wings, which are these few green extra piece cylinder pieces, and also trans pink uh, uh, cone pieces. Nice to see there as thrust and all. But underneath the witch, quite spacious and all, but, and also these petnit bits of witch, which are acting as the feet of the landing gear, well, to which I think, since they're nice and wide out, provides a bit of better standing for it, and, and they wish to fold in quite easily, and once again, that. And then here is the E-Wing in its light mode. And they do unfold as also as you see, which really good for that. And so now that is about it with the E Wing. And now onto the second half of the set, being Shin Hati's Starfighter, which from first glance has kind of a bit of John Grievous Starfighter vibes and Naboo Starfighter vibes. Well, mostly Naboo Starfighter kind of vibes to it, but without the, like, back tail part of it and rounded engines, of course. And those of which were all plain yellow, but, however, this of which kind of an interesting different color scheme of yellowish orange, or as we in Bionicle call a Ketorange, or a Ketongu Orange, of course but mixed with a uh, dark red and light gray. 
very interesting. Kind of a neat color scheme as well to behold. So I go to the wing parts here, which made some neat snot techniques like going on both sides of which and of course have nice and smooth tile on both sides and also so now the little thing with this set is like both sides are kind of the same but just flipped and all and so it's a bit of asymmetricality in this whole set of course and all of which kind of held on by a uh, quite long bracket of course and then on to the wing parts of which it's mostly made of like corner plates and a few tiles in it, but also large sticker on that part as well. And also notice how these two corner plates on here are built like, but on the other wing, which a little differently, probably because it has been kind of been maybe a bit of bow damage or something. Yeah, probably bow damage, of course. And also this engine part almost like the other one, but just uh, flipped upside down, of course. And as for the center engine part, which which quite built really nicely with a little engine turbine piece in there. And also in there you see some Technic bits in pink, of course, which nice to use for blocking, of course. And of course has one of those quarter kind of like slope pieces there. Like we saw with the 2020 Battle Pack, Bible First Battle Pack set, of course. There's, and on both sides have, have two different, uh, what's it called? Uh, stud shooters on there, which fire off like so. And then moving in towards, have a few uh, curved slope pieces. And there's a random brown tile, which I'm not sure why that is. I think should have been in either uh, key to orange, orange, orangey yellow, or red, but well, mostly key to orange, which, which make it stand out a bit and more consistent with the color scheme. Well, maybe this to represent rusting on it or something, but yeah. And then also this top part of which, which does have a few uh, lightsaber hilts for tips of blasters on it, and and also have a little jumper in the center and gold bar pieces in silver or as other vehicles and one of those uh, rounded uh, tiles as well and here's where it's really interesting is you can pop that off and then also notice a, a 2x4 jumper there you can like pop that off as well well which is kind of hard to get to and then have a spot to store a Shin Hati's blaster in there, or someone's blasters in there. So, so kind of a storage bay, but with two hiding spots, which is very interesting. Even though we usually see it with go down in one half of it, but seeing it in two here, very neat, kind of neat for that. Then moving right along, we would have sort of these like curved spots it would or more curved uh, slopes there but of which with a sticker on it same on both sides and also a large corner a uh, curved slope going on there but as for the uh, canopy piece which and so now this was the which the only other printed piece in this set along with the uh, e-wings uh, canopy piece as well, but however the printing on this looks looks just immaculate for that and does open up easily and the uh, cockpit piece can cockpit parts of which so but that which another sticker to that instead of printed like the e-wings of course and and of course enough space to fit Shin ha Shin Haiti into and lean her down as well. And of course, can close it up like so. Now we're the back section, which with another canopy piece, but in dark red. Nice to see that. 
and you can like open that up and you see a little clip plate there and you can put her lightsaber on too as well. And for the back part of which, it's just a rounded plate or rounded plate with a with the technical in it kind of piece there. And however the stabilization this is quite nice and stable and sturdy, so good swooshability. I also forgot to mention with E Wing of Witch, it's also good swoosh value, of course, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, and also nice to see another uh, two vehicles together kind of set, combo set, of course, like we see with the Mandalorian Fang Fighter and TIE Interceptor from uh, the first half of the year, of course. And of course, nice, great to have our first uh, cannon E-Wing, of course, but, and of course, both both vehicles, which good consistent color schemes on both of them, and for the main fig selection, Nice to have a, a different colored astromech droid, and nice to have the one of the main characters, Shin Hati, and Balan Skull, of course. But however, for the uh, building techniques of them, quite good. And but if these were to be sold separately, I would s assume that the E Wing probably about like uh, sixty dollars, and the uh, Shin Hati's fighter of which probably like 50 so of course this set together 110 of course so which kind of makes a bit of sense unlike with the uh, other combo set that there was but yeah and also you know, both which do have some good swoosh ability and also plenty of good playability with the stud shooters and all but as for displaying I think they would hold up well for that But, and so now, if you are looking to get this set for your Mandiverse Ahsoka collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking for another good pair of sets to, or if you're looking to for another combo set to uh, share with someone to build alongside with, then also definitely pick this set up. But yeah, or if you have the money to get this set, or able to afford it, then also definitely pick this set up, of course. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.